surprise in a way just because there's been so much kind of dysfunction around this organization that has kind of... Yeah. Does that bother you? I mean, did, has that ever made you want to go somewhere and play for another organization that is winning? Honestly, personally, you know, um, the grass ain't always green on the other side. It can affect what you're doing that all I've seen is our problem here is that being consistent every year to win, meaning to be in the playoffs. I mean, are you just happy for him, or you just look at your little brother and think, man? Man, you know, honestly, it don't even, until you say it, I, I think about it so much different like they did. As I watched my brothers grow, it was no doubt in my mind that my brothers was going to play football. And most of these guys got out of prison, or one of these guys, one of my closest friends, you know, was a guy that he, he was a lot older than me, and he kind of always got me out of the house to play football with the older kids. And doing no telling what we was doing, wasn't mm -hmm. always right, wasn't always the best. But when your brother stepped out that house and walked to that park, you walked away from us and you went over there with them. Just seeing that where we came from and some of the things that we could have been up into, I just appreciate what I've learned from my family, from my dad and my mom, to be able to trinkle down, to give to my brothers for us to be where we're at now. And that has probably had a... What is the, the, this kind of change, a change at the top? And, and a number of players mentioned it. This Vinny is a guy that brought in a lot of you to, to mm -hmm. the Redskins. Yeah. What does that mean then for the players? What are you thinking about? What goes through, through your head when there's a new guy now in charge? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can go out and play the best ball you can play. Do you think about whether Jim Zorn is on his way out the door? I don't really think about it, you know, because so, mm -hmm. you know, I would love for that, you know, but if he's not, then, you know, that's not my decision, and that's something that I can't really, you know, dwell on. Do you think that he's gotten a fair shake or that he's taken too much of the blame here? But when it came to us going out there and playing football, he gave us the opportunity. You know, he, he did some of the things that players would want to do in the mm -hmm. off season or in the, you know, in training camp to provide that kind of luxury towards us. What do you think about the job Jason Campbell has done under all the scrutiny, everything the organization did to him in the off season? Does he deserve more credit for what he's done, given the offensive line and all the injuries as well? <coughs> yeah, you know, I sit. Can he take you into the playoffs? Is he a quarterback that can win in the playoffs? You know, honestly, you know, and. What do you think about the emergence of all your young receivers now? I mean, Fred Davis and, and Devin Thomas. I mean, they're contributing and they're major factors in this offense. Is that helping you? Is that now taking balls away? Just the fact of them playing better ball now, you know, it was going to come. But, you know, when you're young, you're going to do some of the things that you do when you're in college or you do because of your age or because of the way you thought, think.